So all of this drama has Republicans moving toward a Biden impeachment inquiry. But is a third impeachment of a president in four years really what the American people want to see? We ask the voters ourselves. Watch. I feel like he should be impeached. Well, if he's found guilty, he should be. You know, he should be brought to justice, and nobody's above the law, just like Trump or Biden. It doesn't matter who they are. If he interfered, he should be brought to justice. Why should he be impeached? What for what his son did? There should be an investigation to know how related he is, and then go from there. But yeah, I feel that they should look farther on how involved he is, because he probably is, and maybe he should be impeached. Yes, he should be impeached. Yeah, pack him up. Pack yeah, him up? pack him up. If wrong was done, then I feel like people should be held accountable. If it's legit, yeah. Yeah. If he knew and was involved. I'd rather not see President Biden impeached. I actually don't know a ton about the Hunter Biden situation, so I definitely need to be more informed, but pretty content with his presidency, and it seems like all that took place prior to the presidency and doesn't really have that much to do with Joe Biden and his effectiveness as president. So I would say no. What does it matter if, if he knew or, or didn't know? Uh, I think uh, impeaching presidents uh, becomes part of the American political system and uh, it's, it's a, a sign of decline. I'm joined now by Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett. Uh, Congressman, I just laid out a, a ton of evidence and, and, and about why Joe Biden should probably be impeached. But Adam Schiff really weaponized the impeachment process against Donald Trump. So can you explain to our audience how this process would be different? Well, he really did. I was in the skiff when a lot of that was going on. It was in my first or second year in Congress, so it was kind of a trial by fire. But this process is different because this will be, the facts will be laid out to the American public in hearings, not in some televised thing that's marketed. I mean, literally, the impeachment hearings uh, for Trump and everything else in January 6th, I mean, they had, they might, I think they had walkout music. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it, it's just orchestrated in your, in your so-called legacy media has a, um, the legacy media basically has just, uh, you know, they've endorsed this this clown show for so long and they are a part of it and they can't run from it. So I think you're going to see, you're going to see Jim Jordan's committee transportation. I mean, I'm sorry, um, uh, judiciary, uh, the, the committee I serve on chairman Comer is of course oversight and, and maybe even one other will make a very clear case for what's going on. Yeah. I, you know, I, I've said this many times, but during mob school, I think the Biden crime family was asleep during money laundering class. If you look at the millions and millions of dollars that come from the Chinese and now the recent developments that we're seeing about Burisma, it's just it's just one after the other. And now you're going to have testimony from someone who is going to put Joe Biden in the room with Hunter and with, while they were shaking down uh, foreign countries. You know, uh, when, when the Dems had two failed impeachments. The Republicans had control of the Senate. Now the Democrats have control of the Senate. So how do the Republicans make this impeachment stick? What is the main case? Well, first of all, as far as sticking goes, I, it's not going to kick, kick Biden out of office because if anything we do, we've got a, we've got a crooked Justice Department that is just so one-sided that, we'll, that has failed to look at things as, as the Hunter Biden case pretty much exhibited, uh, they'd cut some sweetheart deal. Literally in Tennessee, people go to, go to, would spend longer time in jail for serious traffic violations than what this guy has done. And so I, I think you're going to see the connection between the two and, of course, the influence. But the, will the Justice Department do anything? Probably not. That's why it's important that 20 million uh, conservative folks that decided not to get out and vote last go around, last presidential election, get out and vote this time, because this is exactly what happens uh, with, with a Justice Department that's just overrun. And the case was made in your earlier segment very well about how they've really just stacked every every department and they have created the swamp. And this is what you get. Yeah, we can't have a two-tier justice system if we want equal justice no, sir. under the law. Most, most Americans just want respect that. Congressman, thanks so much for spending some time with us this evening. Thank you for having me, and it's been an excellent show so Thank far. You, Thank you. We appreciate it.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.